Hey, you know what we want to watch? The right stuff. None of that fake stuff. What do you think it's about? Look at it. He's he has a he has a lightsaber. This is a Star Wars story by National Geographic. No. Welcome to Arcado. I'm Josh. I'm Nathan. And you're watching a very special episode of this right here. You've seen it, you clicked it, you're here. This episode is brought to you by my friend Mike because he bought Disney Plus for us. So thank you, Mike. Mm, thank you. Disney Plus does not sponsor us. Hey, it rhymes. There's a lot of stuff on here. A lot of stuff. A lot. So today we're gonna find the weirdest things we can find and we're just gonna look at the thumbnail image and we're gonna see if we can guess what it's about before reading the synopsis. And specifically, these are gonna be for ones that we have not seen. Then we read the synopsis, see how close we got, and see which version we like more. <laughs> I'll start. Round, Round one. one. Okie dokie, I'm up. I'm doing Hello Dolly. Good luck, it's a nostalgic movie? Yeah, Um, you might have seen this. I have not. Hello Dolly is a simple tale about a lady in Victorian, nope, 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 in the Roaring Twenties. She is in Las Vegas. She is a star, an up and coming star. And when she gets there, she dances with tigers and lions. Hence why it was the Roaring Twenties because there were so many animals. And so she comes to Vegas. She's like, hello Vegas. And Vegas turns and says, Hello, Dolly! And she ranks to the top in an unforgettable movie of grit and sheer willpower and how to move on after losing so much. What did she lose? The lions. They died. How did I do, Nathan? How did you do? You read me the synopsis. Okay. Oh, frick. Wow, this is whole, This is so much older than I thought. Dolly Levy uses her matchmaking skills in New York City to orchestrate the love lives of her friends, all the while trying to get the man she likes to fall for her. This looks like it's a cowboy movie. It does. <laughs> well, dang. Let's, wow. let's just click through the trailer and see what happens. This is the matchmaker. It's a musical. <laughs> You're all fired! <laughs> Get out! Somebody say hello, Dolly, please. Well, she's dancing. Hey, can we at least say, I got the dancing show, bitch. She's on the other side of the continent, the other side of the country. Both apply. I didn't win, if we're doing points-based. But how about a half point? Yeah. Half point? Because they were singing, they were dancing. Okay, no point. You got certain, no, you got certain elements. That's fair enough. Point 25. <laughs> yeah, sure, there you go. Round, Round two. two. Oh, no, we are, we are, we are talking <laughs> Willow here, man. Willow. Gosh dang it. It's, a, oh, man. This is, this is some prime stuff right here. Tell me about Willow. Okay, Willow, this is your classic. What do you call that? Medieval fantasy story? Mm -hmm. Look at that. The, the, the dark evil lord, the skull face, our knight oh. in shining armor, our princess, and the hobbit. Isn't he casting a spell? He is! That is Willow, our <laughs> small little person here who nobody thinks it much about him. And he was just like this peasant in the town. The, there was the beautiful princess who he's like, whoa, she's awesome, but I could never get with her. And then there's the charming knight, of course, who's like, ha ha, I'm incredible and suited for her. And then there's Willow, who's just clutching a chicken or something. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what that is. It's probably his life savings because he wants to go to magic school. Even if it is a chicken, it's probably still his life savings. <laughs> so that's Willow right there. He's, he has that magic wand. He's going to magic school to try and get the get the princess and ends up killing off the Dark Lord Skullface. The only reason why he's going to magic school is to get the princess? Yeah. And self-esteem and all like that. <laughs> Desperate. I'll tell you about Willow. Okay, tell me about Willow. The 1988 two hour and six minute family fantasy action adventure movie. Two hours PG. long? And 1988, my gosh. When young Willow Oofgood finds an abandoned baby girl, he learns... Willow is the dude. He, <laughs> learn, he learns she is destined to end the reign of the wicked queen Bav Morda. That skull person was a woman? Well, it's, dude, yeah. Wait, so if Willow is 
The small, what, little person? I'm gonna give you full points. If <laughs> I nominate Well Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this is my face right now. <laughs> for, for real though? You know what, I'm, I'll give you full points. I wanted to see the skull princess Lady. queen Bavramor door. I'll play the whole movie and I'll skip through. <clears throat> Ah, what, look a, at, what is that? <laughs> is that Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer? Oh no, they just Val killed him. <laughs> well, I couldn't find her. I think that skull person was somewhere towards the end there slashing at him, but that was kind of the best I got from that. That was, I, mean, I have to say, my interest is peaked. Round three. Oh, okay, I'm talking about Wicked Tuna. You didn't want to do Buzz Lightyear does the squats? In a world where fish rule the world. The fish have come out of the ocean and have demanded to become humanity's new masters. This is people at National Geographic. This hasn't happened yet, it's all conjecture. But they are looking at fish brains, specifically tuna, and they're seeing that they have the capabilities of outgrowing and outsmarting even human beings. And they have these evil intentions of turning humans into sushi instead of the tuna. This is about how in the dark future, if we're not careful with overfishing, the wicked tuna may rise and slay humanity. So what's with the subtitle Outer Banks? Oh, that's where they come from. Oh, okay. You know, like in Star Wars, The Outer Rim, these right. guys come from the Outer Banks. Gotcha. Bluefin tuna fishermen venture to North Carolina's treacherous fishing grounds, The Outer Banks, where they battle for the ocean's most lucrative prize. Wow, that sounds so much more interesting than it probably is. <laughs> A single giant blue fin can be worth more than $20,000. But the dangerous waters, small quota, and explosive... Rivalries. Rivalries. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, I hate you. You took my tuna last week. I'm going to explode. Okay. Make the Outer Banks nicknamed Graveyard of the Atlantic, the most challenging place in the world to catch these elusive fish. There is seven seasons of this. Holy crap. Let's watch Southern Discomfort. Yeah, I'm already having some discomfort right now. Last time I got a fish that big slipped right out of my fingertips, it did. Look at that, it's a <laughs> dolphin. What? That ain't what we're here for. Stay on target. Eh, I pulled on the string. Stop pulling on the string, son. You're gonna make the fish mad. What is that? Oh, that's Jimmy. He's been <laughs> stuck out there for three days trying to catch him by his hand. Told him it wouldn't work. What an idiot Jimmy is. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get you, Jimmy. Oh, crap, I got Jimmy. <laughs> well, that's that. Uh, I think I get no points. Wow, you, you just don't want points, do I've you? already lost. <laughs> <laughs> Round four. Kazam. Kazam. Oh my gosh, like, this was before Will Smith was the genie. This was like, we wanted Space Jam. We wanted Aladdin. Put them out together, Kazam, man, starring... What the freak is his name again? That's not Shaq. Yeah, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> They're like, you know what, let's throw a little bit of Shazam in here, right? Uh-huh. Because it's this little kid who's like, I always wanted to play basketball, but I couldn't. And then evil kids throw his shoes on a telephone wire. Sorry, that's, that's, that's like horrible. Mike. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, all he has to do is say, Kazam! And then he turns into... Shaquille O'Neal? Shaquille O'Neal. And then he can play basketball. And it's learning about, like, fame and everything isn't what's important. What's important is loving the game and getting good over time. Get good, gamer. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's very believable. <laughs> <laughs> that's Shaq! Oh, it is Shaq. Also, that's a white kid. He wanted to become a basketball player. He's who like, who doesn't want to be Shaq? Who doesn't, <laughs> yeah, I want to be Shaq. His hand is bigger than my head. And I have a freakishly large head. In 1996, for one hour and 33 minutes in family comedy, fantasy, and action adventure, while hiding from a gang of school bullies in an abandoned building, 12-year-old Max accidentally kicks a battered boombox, freeing a 7-foot, 3,000-year-old genie who will grant him three wishes. Well... At the beginning, you had it right with Aladdin. <laughs> Holy crap, and the bullies, and... I'm scared. How are you so good at that? <laughs>
I, I got lucky. You had Hello Dolly. What are you supposed to pull from that? I picked the worst one, but I had fun and that's what matters. I am Kazam! Your bullies tried to destroy your bike? I can fix it, kid. Or I gave it to you, kid. Man, I will dribble your <laughs> head if you do not comply and tell me three wishes! Kinda hoping to see some magic, man. Oh, there we go. I got points for that, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. You win! Yeah. By a long shot. That was incredible. Wow, there really is a lot of stuff on Disney Plus that I haven't even heard of. <laughs> no. Do you have Disney Plus? What's your favorite thing you like watching on it? Or what's your favorite Disney movie? Hit us up in the comments below. Subscribe to us, otherwise we'll cut your subscription to Hulu.